What is the limit of sine of one over x as x approaches zero? As a calculus student, you want to be able to have some intuition about what these limits will equal, even without doing a bunch of algebra. If you have a function with a function inside of it, think about what's happening to the inside function first. In this case, one over x as x goes to zero is getting very, very big. It could be going to positive infinity if x is approaching zero from the right, or it could be going to negative infinity if x is approaching zero from the left. Either way, the inside is getting extreme, extreme in the positive direction or in the negative direction, which means sine of this inside function, which is just becoming more and more extreme, is going to be oscillating very rapidly. The limit does not exist. So we can reach this conclusion that the limit doesn't exist just by thinking about it. But let's also consult a graph. This is what the function looks like. This is sine of one over x. We're thinking about what happens as x approaches zero. You can clearly see that around the origin, it just looks like a solid block in Desmos. That's because it's oscillating quicker and quicker as we get closer and closer to zero. If we zoom in, so we're getting closer closer and closer to zero, just zooming in along the x-axis, you can see that it is just oscillating more and more quickly. Looks kind of ridiculous. It is clearly not approaching any sort of finite value as we get closer and closer to zero. Coming back to our notebook, it can often be easier to think about these limits of composite functions if you rewrite it in terms of a different variable. Instead of having one over x inside the sign, let's call that h and think about what happens to h as x approaches zero, say, from the right. Like we already said, as x approaches zero from the right, this inside function, which we are calling h, is going to positive infinity. So the right side of our limit, as x approaches zero from the right, we know is equal to the limit of sine of h, because h is one over x, with h going to infinity, because as x approaches zero from the right, h is going to infinity. Now at a glance, this limit very clearly doesn't exist. Sine of h as h goes to infinity, well clearly that's just going to oscillate. One other slightly more sophisticated way to think about this limit not existing is to consider this. Certainly one over pi over two plus two pi k for integer values of k will approach zero from the left or from the right as the integer k becomes more negative or more positive. That means that as x approaches zero, there are infinitely many times where it will take on a value like this, a value in the form one over pi over two plus two pi times some integer k. And at every one of those infinitely many times that x is equal to a value of this form, Form, sine of one over x is going to equal positive one. Similarly, there's infinitely many times where x will take on a value like this, one over three pi over two plus two pi k. Every time it does, sine of one over x is going to be equal to negative one. In this way, we can clearly see that as x approaches zero, it will at infinitely many times equal one and at infinitely many times equal negative one. So certainly the values of this function as x approaches zero will be oscillating and we're not going to have a limit. We spend most of our time talking about limits that do exist, so I thought it'd be useful to spend a few minutes talking about this limit which does not exist. Hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Hello.